was, um, yeah, that was baffling. Now, talking about baffling, this one, <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> this, is, this is phenomenal. Any Jamaicans in the house? Yeah. Any Jamaicans in the house? Respect. Yeah. Man them. Check this out. <laughs> Steve Bruce could become the new manager of Jamaica. Welcome to the Ports Garrison. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Greetings and welcome to the Ports Garrison. I am your host Phil Deport and if you're joining me for the first time, I implore you to consider subscribing to the channel that is if you like the content content is wide and varied for my regular viewers and subscribers as always is enough love enough respects now today as you can see from my colors it's gonna be something nationalistic my reggae boys again i just just uploaded a video on dwight york confirming that he has applied for the position of head coach of the national team I came across an interview and I shared part of the interview. Now, today, um, while going through, scrolling through YouTube, looking at my, some of my usual sources of information, uh, one of the channels I occasionally watch was, it's called YTF, Eunice Talks Football. He talks mostly about Chelsea and Chelsea-related matters. But today, he, he prefaced his video by saying, the end is going to be hilarious. Make sure you watch to the end. And so I said, all right, fine, let me, let me do that. What did I came across when I, when I watched the video? Um, he stated in there that Steve Bruce, Englishman Steve Bruce has been considered for, also been considered for the position of national coach of Jamaica. And he had a laughter at our expense. Is Jamaica becoming the laughing stock of football? Rudolf Speed, head of the GFF Technical Committee, promised cutting-edge manager, modern manager, Steve Bruce? Steve Bruce. Anyway, take a look at what Eunice, this is his opinion, um, the laughter he had at Jamaica's expense, talking about the possibility of Steve Bruce taking over the head coach job. I'll come back after with my own views on what I think, how I think that appointment would go, if it happens. Because I'm hearing some people saying, positing that is already out there, it's, it's, it's not. It's not, it's not yet uh, an approved thing. So take a listen to Eunice. I will come back. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that one. Because, um, yeah, that was baffling. Now, talking about baffling, this one, <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> this, is, this is phenomenal. Any Jamaicans in the house? Yeah. Any Jamaicans in the house? Respect. Yeah. Man them. Check this out. <laughs> Steve Bruce could become the new manager of Jamaica. Talks have been made and a decision will happen in 10 days. Jamaica. You know what's going to happen, yeah? This is going to happen. That <laughs> 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 has to be done. <laughs> oh, imagine Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce in Jamaica. This is going to be brilliant. You could make a movie of this. This is going to be funnier than Mike Bassett as the England manager. This is going to be iconic. Steve Bruce in Jamaica. I I I'd pay money to watch that. <laughs> and I hope it happens. I hope it happens. You best believe it's going to come to one of them press conferences like Steve McLaren tried to do in Holland. Do you remember when he, he tried to put on a Dutch accent? Can you imagine Steve Bruce with a Jamaican accent? <laughs> Can you imagine Steve Bruce dropping patois? <laughs> so, mate, oh, mate, Steve Bruce, Steve Bruce speaking patois. That would be mad. That would be outrageous. Let's wait and see what happens. Um, Jamaica, look after him. <laughs> now, Eunice had some fun taking jabs at 
Steve trying to come to grips with the language and all of that and all of that. Well, technically speaking, a doctor to give a, an interview. Nobody really gives an interview in Patwa. You know, so like that. But it was, for the fun, the comical value of it, it, it was there. Now, what is this fascination that the JFF seems to have? I don't know if it's a JFF habit though, or people from with attachments to Manchester United seeking to get a Jamaica job. Dwight York, former player. Onigala Solskjaer, former player, former manager. Now Steve Bruce, former manager. Former player, I'm sorry. Now Steve Bruce has, has had an illustrious career as a player, particularly playing centre-back for Manchester United. He never got into the England a team, but he has played tremendous, significant number of games for Manchester United. Checking the records, he says 309 games played for Manchester United, and he's won everything. Sign lots of, of league winnings and FA Cups and all of that uh, um, to, his, to his credit as a, as a player. As a manager, though? <laughs> I, I too have to laugh. Um, a modern manager. I don't think Steve... Steve Bruce can be defined or described as a man, man, a modern manager by anybody, by any stretch of the imagination, any stretch at all. He has had a 26 years career as a manager, and I don't think he's ever won anything. Maybe promotion a couple of times to to the Premier League from the league below. Um, so if I look here at the list of clubs that he has managed, and I want to read for you: Sheffield United, Huddersfield Town, Wigan Athletic. Crystal Palace, Birmingham City, Wigan Athletic again, Sunderland, Hull City, Aston Villa, Sheffield Wednesday, Newcastle United, and West Bromwich Albion. His last couple of jobs, he's, he's been fighting at least some of these jobs. Um, Steve Bruce cannot be, by any chance, any stretch of anybody's imagination, considered as a cutting edge. Why, why has he been out of a job since... 2022 why is nobody knocking down his doors to say hey come manage us why, why not at some point in time i i think he considered retirement and by the way this story is coming from the daily mail in england who's reporting that bruce has, has, has applied or is in consolation from jamaica Jack. as i've stated before i have no say in in the selection of who becomes the next head coach of, of the reggae boys and whoever and I've said also whoever they select, I'd have to go with them and support them. But Steve Bruce? Laughing business, laughing stock. I, I hope, I hope the JFF stays far from this one. As far away from this one as possible. Now let me hear your thoughts in the comment section on this. Now, let me know what you think. Um, lots of names being thrown around. Is, is Steve Bruce up? Do you think Steve Bruce will be up to, to, to the job? I mean, the, the, the short-term goal of the JFF now seems to be getting to the next World Cup. I would like to see us put in place plans and systems and coaches who will look at developing a long-term a long -term vision, some long-term goals, systems, plans for football in Jamaica. Let me hear your thoughts. And until next time, as always. It's enough love, enough manners, enough respects. I will drop a link. I'll put a link in the description so you can go check out um, Eunice's um, entire video. And if you could consider subscribing to his channel, particularly if you're a Chelsea fan. As always, enough love, enough manners, enough respects. Blessings. Thanks for watching.